Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Big Rig Frosty, and welcome back to the Survival Series. Uh, this is episode 15. Um, we're doing something big today, uh, but first, we're going to do something simple. I need a mulcher. Uh, we recently did our first harvest of our oat field, and now I need a mulcher, so let's just get that real quick out of the way. Uh, on sale, nothing on sale for us right now. So we're just going to head right over to the mulchers category. And I've already pretty much set my mind on the Speed Max 560. Um, 21 grand. Not bad. So we're going to buy that and get that taken back to the farm. All right, so I've been thinking. We're always going to be cutting trees down. There's no getting around it on this map. I mean... It's just, it's always going to be something we got to do. So, I think, since I own the plat Platinum uh, DLC, we are going to buy our own little sawmill today. And I did the price checking. It's about, it's going to cost us about $56,000, which is not that bad when you think about it, when we got 146 grand sitting there. Uh, we already got pretty much all the basic equipment we need. I might have to run back here one more time on this episode to get a cultivator. Uh, but other than that, we've got all the tools we need. So, yeah, when we get back to the farm, we're going to put down a sawmill, get the field mulched, and uh, kind of go from there. Because with the sawmill, we can produce planks, and long planks, and some other things. I forget all what we can create, but it's all gonna be worth more money than just plain old wood. So, figured like the smart thing to do. But uh, make sure you hit the like button. Ho hopefully you've been enjoying the survival series. We've come a long way. If, if for some reason you're watching it for the first time, might as well go back to the first episode and start from scratch and just see how everything became what it is now. Or, if you could care less, just sit back, relax, and watch this video for the first time. Uh, but for everybody that's been following it from the beginning, thank you so much. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have recording it and uh, presenting it to you all. But here we are back at the farm. And first thing I want to do is get that sawmill put in so we can feed it a few logs and then we'll get to mulching this field here. Yeah, things are uh, coming along quite nicely. Our bees are buzzing, making honey. I've already went ahead and got an empty container ready because I think we might need it today. So, yeah, I'm going to put the sawmill over here. Um, first, I would like to cut the grass. So, actually, we'll probably cut the grass first and then put the sawmill down. Uh, and while we're cutting that, I'm just going to knock two things out at once. We're also going to cut the grass over here. And I think we're going to go with wrapped bales this time because we got quite a bit of uh, sh uh, hay bales from our last cutting session. Yeah, I'm gonna knock out that first off. Our vegetables and fruit and syrup, we don't really, they're, it's not in demand. So we're gonna leave it there for now. That drop there. Get to cutting some grass. And uh, we will be time lapsing. I, I, I will be time lapsing a lot of the chores today because I've got I got a lot of things I want to try to squeeze into this episode. So, like I said, first off, I'm gonna go cut some grass. Just sit back and relax and enjoy. We're gonna cut that section and that section. <laughs>
All right, so we just got to get this section finished, get it uh, raked up in nice rows, and then we can uh, get the bales made and get them wrapped, get them off the field. So yeah, I think the uh, sawmill will look quite lovely right here because we do have a lot of trees to clear out in this area. So it'll be a nice, uh, nice location for the sawmill. And we've got a lot of logs, trees uh, stockpiled over here to uh, feed the sawmill to start it off. So yeah, seems like the smart thing to do. Make more money out of all the time we spend cutting trees down. And then I would like to get the cow pasture put in over where we cut the other section. So that is the plan. I'm hoping I might be able to fit two uh, animal pens. If, if things work out the way I'm hoping. First we need to get these bales done. I'm thinking lots of uh, productions are on my mind. I got the sawmill first coming. Uh, then, I, like I said, I want to get the cow stalls put in. And then I'm thinking like the flour mill. I have a flour mill put in over by the uh, other sawmill that's built into the map. So that way we're making a little money out of our wheat or barley or oats turn it into flour and you know get a little more money out of it when we go to harvest it let's take it over there and make flour all right so i'm gonna get that section yeah we're gonna get everything baled first and then we'll uh, start wrapping over where I want to put the sawmill. Uh, where am I parking this? Right over there. Oh, it's an easy. All right, so let's go get uh, get some baling done. That pretty much cleans up this field. Just got a little patch down here. I don't know if we'll be able to sneak one more bale or not. Maybe close. 
Yeah, not enough. Not enough. Give it a good try, though. Still got a very lovely amount. We got there. One, two, three, four, five. On that field. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bales. Not too shabby. Now we'll get the uh, wrapping done. Maybe we'll fire up the, uh, the farm all. Let that tractor do a little work. Give this one a break. He's been working too hard. Eventually we're going to put some lime down on that field as well. First, I want to get this darn uh, sawmill put in. We gotta get the bales out of the way. We only paid thirty thirty six hundred dollars for this tractor. Good stinking deal. That unfolded. Rock and roll. Maybe I shouldn't have unfolded it yet. <laughs> there we go. What I what I'll do is get them off the field as we wrap them. Manhandle them. And just get that sawmill put up ASAP. So, yeah, it's the one from the Platinum expansion. We'll take a look at it here. Fifty-six thousand dollars. That's going to put us a little under a hundred grand. But like I said, we've we've got mainly all the farm equipment we need now. So yeah, it'll put a little dent in the wallet, but we'll make it right back when we uh, start selling stuff. And there's always more trees to cut. Alright, one more bale to pick up. I mean, we got a brand new sawmill after that. Get that put in there. So we're gonna go into construction, go into productions, and way over here in the platinum expansion, it's this little guy right here, 56 grand. And it's gonna make one, two, three, four, it's gonna make about four different products. And it's not that big. Pretty much put the wood in that little yellow square there and everything else I think actually I'm not sure where the actual wood spawns or like where you put it um I think it goes yeah it goes in that little square 
All right, so we'll sit this like right around here. There we go. And we'll do a little bit of landscaping here. This will be the driveway in. Pretty much just surround it with dirt. We'll have a little wrap around driveway. Have enough room to uh, swing around here. And as long as we can get in there to access stuff, probably. dirt around here as well. Yep. So we'll be able to access it from all sides. And with an auto trailer, we should be able to uh, pretty much pull up to whatever products we end up creating and Run them right out. There we go. All right, let's take a look at it. So this must be where you dump the wood. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's see this. All right, so wood. All we got to do is bring wood here and it will make wood planks, uh, wood planks long, wood beams, wood prefab walls. Uh, it's gonna make all kinds of good stuff. So we'll just probably activate everything so we can have a variety of stuff. And let's uh, put the, we'll put these scraps in here real quick. Get it up and running. luck with this it's darn anything forestry I've bad luck with. I'll pick that up. Uh, I guess. Come on. Really? just does not want us to be able to do two at once. It's like, nope, not happening, Sonny. All right, and then we should just... Yep, there it goes. So 701 liters of wood are in there. I don't get that thing up and running. All right, so I'm gonna throw a few logs in. We'll put some big ones in there to, you know, really get it going. Get the rest of the scraps put in. I'm gonna get these bales picked up and out of the way, finish wrapping the other field, and then, uh, then we'll be back to some commentary. But let's time lapse the rest until then. <laughs>
everything up off the field, both fields wrapped. Got our new sawmill put in. Things are looking nice. All right, so I'm just gonna get this uh, put away. And we're gonna put in a couple cow pastures, I think. I just, I don't know if they produce milk. That's the only thing. I really gotta make sure we got milk. And I got a few different modded um, cow stalls. So, we'll see which one is the best fit. And when I say fit, it needs to fit in that area. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Go into construction, animals, cows. Uh, as far as modded ones go, I have this one. It didn't only holds 20. So I don't really want to think that's the one I'm going for. Uh, this one is a cow pasture that holds 40. And there is a milk. Okay, there is a milk right there on the edge of the fence. That's the one I kind of wanted. Um, and I'm hoping to fit two of these bad boys. I was hoping to put one right here. And then another one right across from it, pretty much. There we go. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. All right, so we'll do just a little bit of landscaping. We'll let the uh, natural grass just kind of grow around that. Uh, but we'll make a driveway here. This will be the drive through here, and then I was thinking like a little wrap around area. Turn around after you're done feeding. It'll look a little better once the grass grows back in. we got here a little bit of dirt cool right so that is where our our cows are going to live, so they are going to have their automatic watering system with this mod, so we don't have to water them, uh, but we do have to feed them. And uh, as far as slurry goes, I don't think we're going to be able to have slurry. And manure... Let's see if we can put down like a manure uh, pit of some sort. Uh, let's see... So that would be under, well, here's a silo, ex, that would be under silo extension, manure heap. The manure heap needs to be placed next to a barn. Doesn't look like that's counting as a barn. Dang it. <laughs> uh, silos, manure heap. Silo to store manure. These tanks are used to store liquid manure. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get either or, but that's fine. As long as we're going to make some milk money in the future. Um, let's, let's get a mixer. We're going to need a mixer next. And we're also going to... We need to get these bales cleaned up. I don't know if we'll be able to get to getting the cows put in or not. I'm going to try. But, uh, you know what? 
Yeah. I guess we can just buy them from here, huh? That's not a big deal, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We'll get... We'll get... Gestation period 10 months. This is a calf. Animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce. After 10 months, they'll start making milk. Uh, so, yeah. We don't have a ton of money. I say we load this up with all 40 for 10 grand. And then over here, we'll do same thing. Um, let's get some brown Swiss for the other side. Or we'll split it up. We'll do... Should have done that on the other side, dang it. We'll do 20 of these. And 20 of these. All right, so we are stocked up on cows. All we got to do is feed them some grass. Uh, we don't need to give them TMR quite yet until they're old enough to make milk. And we got plenty of grass bales um, hiding back here. Yeah, these are all grass bales. Yep. Perfect. All right, so we'll get some grass bales. Man, there's some lag inside that garage. That must be the garage causing lag. Hmm. That's not good. Cool. So we got our animals. Let's get them fed. And at the same time, I'm going to get these bales cleaned up and off the fields. Since they're wrapped, I might go ahead and just line them up over here. Since they're protected by the wrapping. All right, so let's get to it. <laughs> Finally got all these up off the field. Um, and I accidentally accidentally ran over my lime spreader. <laughs> That's why you're supposed to look when you back up. 
It all was in a hurry. All right. So plenty of wrapped bales that will be ready in the future. Uh, only problem is we don't have any hay bales at all, and the darn cows and the sheep pretty much ate all of the grass. <laughs> I'm gonna save this last little bale for the sheep, so they don't run out. The cows shouldn't run out anytime soon. Yeah, we'll just kinda sit this in the feed spawn here. Let it slowly take it away. Straw? Nothing we can do with the straw yet until uh, we can make some TMR. And that's a good thing because it's good the cows are young because we do not have supplies anyways. We would not have enough stuff to make a good batch of TMR, so... Hopefully we get another harvest in before the cows start making milk. Then we'll have plenty of straw and plenty of hay by then. Alright, so let me pick this darn thing up. Uh-oh. There we go. Like, I hope I didn't break it. There we go. Alright, we need to get this covered with lime. And then we also, I'd like to get the the other field mulched with the, uh, the other tractor. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to time lapse that because, like I said, it's been a busy stream or busy episode. So uh, let's get to liming and then we'll do the mulching. getting a lot of work done here today huh all right so how's this field looking needs fertilized eventually it's gonna need uh, cultivated uh, we still need a new cultivator so I'm gonna load up I'm hoping I can get a full container out of this if not uh, 
we'll uh, fill it up another time, but I'm thinking it might be enough to fill it up. So let's see what happens. Let's get the uh, door open. Man, getting some major lag. All right, we're gonna test this out. This is our little ramp thing we put in on the uh, live stream we did, and we're hoping all we gotta do is back in and it'll load them up. <laughs> so let's see how see how good this thing works. Yeah, looks like it loaded up some of them. Trying. 37% loaded. Almost like it's doing one at a time. Or it's not getting close enough. Let's even get some of these bigger ones back here. Ooh, that is really bad lag. Holy moly. Um, let's push. Let's push from the one end so they're sticking out more so the trailer can tell. Probably just can't recognize that the logs are there. Just give a little pushy push. That's all it is. Oh, isn't working like I was hoping it would. Oh, come on. Literally right there. Eh. It's really trying. Not doing a very good job at it, is it? <laughs> That's okay. We'll uh, park next to it. And just load them in there with the... Uh, Uh, it's good steer. Not the way I was hoping it would work, but at least we got half the trailer done. Let's take a little more time. So, uh, since that didn't work the way I was hoping it was, I might end up selling this little ramp because, yeah, it's not working the way I was hoping it would. Although there are different sizes, maybe if I would have got the smaller one, they would have been overhanging more. So that was probably a problem. a good idea, right? Yeah, this container will pretty much wipe out all of this. So I'll time-lapse it until we get that thing full, 
and then we'll sell it and that'll give us a little insurance money since we blew it all today we're down to 20 grand so selling a container will definitely help So we got a full load, 33,000 liters. We're gonna run that over to the uh, sell everything. This is right around the bend. And bada bing, bada boom, $45,235. What I'm talking about, good stuff. So that brings us back up to 65 grand. I think that trailer's something. That trailer's causing lag. Every time I walk by it, the game lags. It's not good. Not good at all. All right, we are gonna sell this. For $3,597, it didn't quite work out the way I was hoping, so we are not going to use it. We'll get this uh, looking nicer. And that pretty much does it for today's video. Um, we will, next time... We will be in the month of, let's see here. Yeah, I don't think we can plant anything at the moment. So next episode, I yeah, we could. I don't want to do canola though. Uh, next episode, we're going to get wheat or barley. I'm going to do a full, both fields are going to be one or the other, wheat or barley. So we can get a bunch of straw in. Um, I'm thinking grass I'm gonna hold off on a grass field I'm gonna hold off on a grass field because I plan to clear out another area beyond the uh, cow pasture so the next place I would like to clear out is gonna be further this way so we can have a dedicated grass field which will be right next here and then eventually I'll well, no, we'll have the money to put in some shelter buildings to store bales, uh, store TMR mixer, and, uh, you know, all the things we'll need to keep the cows happy. Uh, a milk tanker, all that good stuff. So that will be the plan going forward into the next episodes, is uh, getting our wheat planted next month and starting to clear out more land for a grass field and right so you know what to do hit the like button and i uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and thanks for watching the survival series we'll catch you guys later it's big rig frosty gaming over and i'm out